What is ANSI color in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.4. Now, in order to use ANSI Color on a Jenkins controller, you need to install the ANSI Color plugin. So we'll go to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins, and if we take a look at installed, I've already installed the plugin, and we can see it right here at the top at the time of recording. The ANSI Color plugin is 1.0.2. Now let's take a look at a sample job that I already have set up and understand how we can use ANSI Color. One of the first things that we can do is we can just wrap a specific step in an ANSI color step. So in this case, I'm saying ANSI color X term. So it's going to use the color palette for X term, and it's going to color encode all of the words that are here. And then notice here for the second echo, I'm not wrapping in an ANSI color. So what I would expect to see is just this raw string printed out in the console log. So let's click on save and click on build now. When we take a look at the output, what we'll see here is we see the color output just for this one step, and we also see the raw text in the second step. Now, setting the color at a very granular level is possible, and you have different color palettes you can work with, but most of the time, if you're going to be using ANSI color, you're probably wanting to have it apply to the whole console output. So what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to go to back to job one and configure, and let's get rid of this wrapping step here for ANSI color. And now what we want to do is we want to add an option for ANSI color. So let's take a look at our pipeline syntax and let's go to declarative directive generator and under options, what we'll see is an option for ANSI color. And again, this is all predicated on the ANSI color plugin being installed. You'll notice that there are a handful of color maps already built in. There's Xterm, VGA, CSS, and GNOME terminal. Let's stick with Xterm and let's click on generate declarative directive. We can see that this is options, ANSI color, X term. It looks very similar to what we saw in our step. So let's go back over to our controller. Let's add this option in and let's click on save. Now you'll notice that the ANSI color no longer wraps the first one. And we also still have the second one that's a not colorful one. But in this case, when we run it, because we've specified ANSI color at the global level of this pipeline, then we expect both of these lines to render with color. So let's click on save and click on build now. And when we take a look at the output of two, we see a hello colorful world and also a hello not colorful world that's still colorful. So we have both of these lines rendering out. But let's say for a moment that you know that you want to use ANSI color on all of the jobs everywhere on your controller. Instead of having to have your job authors add in ANSI color lines, as a Jenkins administrator, you can set this at a global level. So let's take a look and see how to do that. First off, to prove out how it works, let's go back to job one, configure, and let's go ahead and remove our ANSI color option. We'll click on save, and let's go ahead and click on build now so that we can see that the color has been removed. So we'll take a look at number three. We can see the raw text for both of these lines. Let's go into dashboard, manage Jenkins, configure system and we'll scroll down to the section that is called ANSI color. Now in this case, the global color map for all builds. So for all the builds on this controller, what do you want the color to be? Now remember we had Xterm, VGA, CSS, and GNOME Terminal. Now, where did those definitions come from? Well, if you click on advanced, you're going to see Xterm, and you're going to see VGA, and you'll see CSS. And down below, you would also see GNOME Terminal. So if you want to set up your own set of colors for this, then you can define your own color map within your organization. In my example, I want to go ahead and specify Xterm as my global color map. I'll go ahead and click on Save. And let's go back over to job one. And let's go ahead and run the job one more time. So now when we take a look at the output for job four, Remember, at this point, we no longer have our option for ANSI color set. We have set our ANSI color at the global level on the controller, and we're applying the X term color map. So that's why we see hello colorful world here and hello not colorful world, both in color. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment. Click on that subscribe button and then ring that bell and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.